Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's question, we have the connection rod AB exerts crank a force of 500 pounds directed down and to the left along the center line of AB, and we need to determine the moment of the force about point C. So from the question, we know that we have a force AB, uh, which I'm showing like this in red, and we need to find the moment about point C. And I'm just going to show the line of action of the force. So basically for finding the moment of this force about point C, uh, we can find our position vector. And in here, basically any vector that connects C to the line of action of the force, uh, FAB can be our position vector. So basically each of these can be our position vector. By the way, guys, I recorded a, a tutorial about finding the moment about one point and we can find a position vector and what's the easiest way for finding a moment in 2d i'm going to put the link in the description so don't miss uh, on that video for finding a moment in 2d uh, so in here as i was saying each of these can be r and we can solve this in two ways first way let's go with the moment of the crank pc so i'm going to use two free by the diagrams the first one we have the crank BC here, and let's consider our force FAB in here. Uh, somewhere in here. We basically have FX, which is this one, and we'll have FAB Y. So we're just uh, dissolving the FAB into X and Y component. And what we need for finding the moment is the vertical distance for each of these two, which means we need this distance let's call it x1 and we can call a y1 for this one so if you want to find a moment about point c again counterclockwise we consider positive uh, so moment of uh, each of these two forces will be counterclockwise which means they are both positive i can show it in here so for f a x this will be the moment that it makes and for the y component will be same direction too so that's why we have positive for both and that's what we have so for fab x component the distance that we have will be the vertical distance which is a y1 and for y component it will be x1 again since we have the vertical distance we simply need to multiply r and f with no order because it's simple a multiplication so uh it really doesn't matter so for finding f a b x and f a b y we need to find one of these angles in here that i'm showing with alpha and before that we can use the pythagorean theorem for the triangle that i'm showing in orange in here so for that one we have hypotenuse which is uh, AB, so we have AB squared equals 5.76 squared plus 1.68 squared, which are the two sides of our right triangle uh, in here that I highlighted in orange. And if we do that, we can find AB 6 inches. And now that we have this, we can proceed with sine and cosine of alpha for finding a b x and a b y so for a b x so i'm showing in here our angle that we found this is our alpha so our f a b x will be uh will have the sign of alpha so we'll have f a b which from the question we know is 500 so we have the force 500 so we have f a b sine of alpha which will be 1.68 divided by hypotenuse which is six uh so guys i'm gonna put a, a video in the description for basic geometries that we need for solving this question feel free to check that video uh it's gonna cover all the basics for finding these angles and how we can proceed with sine and cosine that's what we have for f a b and the distance here will be what we have from uh, from B to C, which uh, we discussed is Y1, and Y1 will be what we have in here, 2.24 inches. So that's our first moment. The second one we have, if 
ABY, which this time we will have FAB cosine of alpha, and it will be 5.76 over 6, and the distance, which was X1, will be 1.68. So as I was saying, FAB is 500, and from here, if we can find our moment, 1,120 uh, pounds inch. So that's the moment of FAB about point uh, C. This was one way of solving this. As I was saying, we can all uh, we can also go um, again with another R that we are interested. And if we go with the other R that we have, I'm gonna clean up the figure and we can see it better. So so far we found the moment about point C using this distance vector, but we can also go with this distance vector as well. So let's call this one R1 and the other one R2. So the first method we used R1, but in the second method, we're going to use R2. And if you want to draw the free body diagram, uh, we simply have again the crank BC and this is where the force is applying our FAB. And if you wanted to solve it into FABX and F a, B, Y. Uh, this will be what we have. So if we look at here, our R would be uh, this vector that I'm showing in red and we call it R2. And if we look at this, the only moment that we have, so if you want to find a moment about point C, again, counterclockwise positive, we'll see that A, B, Y won't make any moment because it's along the position vector and uh, there wouldn't be any moment for that one. And the only moment that we have is F, ABX, so we will have FABX times uh, the vertical distance that we have, which is simply this distance, uh, which we know from the question is 5.76 plus 2.24, and that would give us this distance, let's call it Y2, 8 inch. So we simply have FAB, this component times 8, and we found the FABX, we had simply 500 times a uh, sine of this angle, which called alpha, which was 1.68 divided by 6 times A. And if we calculate this, so we'll get the same answer, 1,120 uh, pound inch, or we know 1,000 pound is kips. So we'll get 1.12 kips 